Well, the Republicans now have their official candidates for governor and United States Senate, and both of them have strong connections to President Trump. So how might that impact the November elections? Political editor John Delano takes a look. In nominating both Scott Wagner for governor and Lou Barletta for U.S. Senator, Republicans have sent a clear message statewide that the more conservative, the better. Wagner, a York County state senator who has opposed some in his own party for being too liberal, is an unabashed free enterprise business advocate who says Democrats raise taxes. I'm running because hardworking Pennsylvanians shouldn't have a governor, Tom Wolf whose only focus is to get more of their paycheck or your paycheck. Wagner has embraced President Trump, even borrowing his language to drain the swamp in Harrisburg. Barletta, a congressman from Luzerne County, is even more identified with Trump, having co-chaired his 2016 campaign in Pennsylvania. The media said that uh, Donald Trump could not win in Pennsylvania. And Pennsylvania sent Donald Trump to the White House. The president urged Barletta to run against Senator Bob Casey and on Wednesday tweeted his support again, saying, Lou Barletta will be a great senator for Pennsylvania, but his opponent, Bob Casey, has been a do nothing senator who only shows up at election time. He votes along the Nancy Pelosi Elizabeth Warren lines, loves sanctuary cities, bad and expensive health care and voted against the massive tax cut bill. He's also weak on borders and crime, sadly. Our great military and vets mean nothing to Bobby Jr. Lou Barletta will win. Trump's embrace of these Republicans makes it increasingly likely that this November's election will be a referendum on the president as much as it is about the incumbents. John Delano, KDKA TV News.